G'day guys and welcome back to the Rassic Brothers. Now today is a massive day. We are on our way to Creswick to go watch one of the AFL's greatest players to ever play the game in Gary Ablett, also known as the Little Master. Um, yeah, the weather today has been weird. It's been, had more mood swings than a 16 year old girl going through puberty. <laughs> but, nah, it's sunny at the moment, which is good. Um, here in the car with Gussie, um, Ward and Jay's driving, and Ward's got a Gary Ablett footy card he wants to get signed. But yeah, hopefully we can meet Gary Ablett after the game, and hopefully he tears it up. Um, Bernie Finch kicked eight goals for Maryborough, so imagine if Gary Ablett did the same. I definitely think he can, so yeah, very excited for today and yeah, let's get straight in. All right, so we've arrived. There's a minute left in the Razzies game and Creswick are gonna win, um, but we don't really care about that. We're just wanting to see Gary Ablett and I think another couple thousand are also thinking the same as this ground is full of people. And spectators. I'm gonna have to go with Creswick just because they've got the little master plan. And what's he gonna, what's his stats gonna look oh, like? Stats, I reckon he's gonna get 30 disposals and kick three. It's wet weather footy, but yeah, that's, that's a good call. 24 yeah. disposals, very specific, and, and two goals. Yeah, Probably 32 and 3, Creswick by 45. Good calls. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Gary Ablett to get 44 touches and kick. I'll go kick four goals as well. I think he's gonna have a massive day. Yeah, it, de it depends on what physique he's in. I don't even know what he's looking like recently. Like, yeah. Probably put a few kgs on. But... Yeah, definitely. But, uh, yeah, we'll have to see when he runs out. My prediction might change. Um. So, yeah, the Rezzy's game's all over. And, yeah, now we've got the massive game. Um. Yeah, hopefully Ablett tears it up. Gaz is ready to go and he's rocking the number 29. Yeah, um, I think he's starting in the guts as well, so really excited. Gaz has kicked the opener. Wow. Massive start. Jay and Warder in the canteen line for most of it, but yeah, Gary Abbott's playing pretty decent, got the opener, which was good. Yeah, we missed his opener. No, uh, was a nice little soccer yeah. uh, What just spilled his chips on the couch? Yeah. It's like a racist match. 
This is the most razzy seniors game you'll ever see. The two bottom teams. It's, it's an exciting game though. As they might kick a goal as I speak. They do. What would you rate the donut out of 10? So 7.8. Nice. Sounds pretty good. Should I get one? Yeah. Maybe. I'll see. Gaz is on the bench at the moment. That's all I've got to say. Um, so, it's playing pretty well, isn't it? Um, Creswick should be up a lot more. They've had plenty of opportunities, but haven't been able to capitalise. Hopefully Gaz comes back on soon. Ward. Um, how have you seen today's game so far? Good contest or um, not the best game? Not the best game. Really? I still haven't seen much. Really. Yeah. Not the best one for what yeah, I've seen. Fair enough. Alright, half time. Gaz didn't get too involved that quarter, but there's still a half to go. And Creswick are up 17 points. Um, your thoughts, Jay? It's been a bit of time on the bench though, which is warranted considering, considering his age and his uh, out of retirement, but yeah, solid game from him, probably not the best position for him yeah. for his playing style, he'd probably like a bit drier, but um, oh, they're going in the rooms. That's alright. But yeah, nah, solid game so far, hopefully we can get on the scoreboard again in the second half. Uh, yeah, Wardy, your thoughts? About what? Gaz's game so far? Um, haven't seen too much of him so far. Uh, of what I've seen, I, just, yeah. I missed the first quarter. But... He's been a little quiet, but yeah. Um, we'll see you guys in the second half. Second half, yeah. I'm going to get some food now. Hey, yeah, it's half time and uh, we've jumped in the car because it's fucking freezing, but... Um, yeah, Sorry. good match. Great match. Uh, what's the score at half time? 12 29. Wow, that's a bit of numerology. We've got 29 for Creswick at half time. What number is Gary Ablett wearing today? And he wore for the Geelong Cats. Yep. What number? What's he wearing today? 29. Yes, exactly. So. Yeah, we got it. Um, but we got a bit of a close match on our hands. It probably shouldn't be too much of a blowout because of the conditions. Um, we've got Prime Tram playing for Creswick. Tram. Not, yeah, not Prime Train, but Prime Tram. Um, looks very much like him. Plays very similar to him, but but yeah. All right, we'll catch you in the second half. Yep. Here are the boys. They're back out. Yes, who's back? Bah, bah. Back again. Can you hear Gary Ablett from Shady's here? He's back. Bah, bah. Hello, friend. Oh, poor Reed and Gus. They're probably still at the back. Yeah, they've been in the canteen line for all of half time. Look. You can see a bit of it there, the line wraps around. Just demonstrates how big a crowd there is today here at uh, Creswick There's Football Ground. There's probably a thousand here. Oh, yeah. I reckon a thousand More. at least. More. More, probably. yeah, upwards of. Where's Jablet? 1.2k. Where's Jablet at? I can't even see him. Anyway, he's in there somewhere. Yeah, I can't see him. What? Oh, there he is. Wait, there where? he is. Where? Oh, yeah, there. Belan's got a mark at the top of the goal square. This is a huge opportunity to put him within two kicks. Creswick missed one from here in the second. Can he make no mistake of it? He doesn't. He's kicked the goal. Belan on the comeback. This is so important. That wasn't 15. In the context of this match. You've got to take every opportunity and by that reaction. 
He's missed. He probably felt so embarrassed what a dog. You don't get many opportunities in this sort of in these sort of conditions, so you gotta take them. So final quarter, Reed's finally back. He spent that whole quarter Where's and Gus? a bit. Where's Gussie? Just over there. Are we gonna sit in the car? Up to you. No, we'll stand out. Stand out. Yeah. Uh, hard, final term, prime time position for Gaz yeah, to win him the right, match up forward. Let's see what happens. Ten point ball game. Goals. Sorry guys, just missed that, but Gary Albert actually set it up for this bloke. Getting ready. Oh wait. Getting ready. Oh, no, getting ready. Ward's getting the footy card ready for a signature, hopefully after the match. Reed fiending on the chips, cheese and gravy, so it's Gus. The land just slot one and it's not over yet. Is it back to two goals? Back to 11 goals? I mean, 11 points. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, Gary, here we go. Prime train. The free kick in the 50. Kicked it. What did he do? <laughs> <laughs> that is definitely prime train. <laughs> Hopefully he can kick at least two. Oh, free kick, surely. Head almost taken off, not rewarded. Ablett from 55! Ablett from 55! Draw the other side from here! Oh. Massive moment on the channel. Just hit the ceiling. <laughs> oh no. Oh. How many goals did you predict? Two. Two? Yeah. He's kicked two. How many disposals is he at? I'd say, I don't know. I haven't watched the whole game. What an awesome day it's been. There we go. Gary Ablett has arrived at Creswick to get him a big win against the land. Two goals, around 20 disposals. And what a great day it's been. Gary Ablett finishes off with a goal. Um, we're gonna try and get a photo now. Yeah, we're gonna try and the get thumbnail. a signature. We're not gonna do an interview because there's heaps of we're people here. We're gonna try here, and get a signature. Yeah, it's been a great day. And yeah, um, that last goal, the atmosphere was electric. This place is packed. It's chockers, everyone's waiting to get a photo with Gaz, as are we. We're gonna be stuck here forever. It's been, we've watched the greatest player of all time tear it up, kick two goals, and then we got a photo with him and a signature. So, life doesn't get much better, does it? Never watching this hand again. I'm probably gonna contemplate getting it amputated. Yeah. Putting it in a nice, clear box, set it up in uh, the crib. And uh, yeah, I'll just get a fake hand and just deal with that for the rest of my life. I might do the same as well. <laughs> Right, just yeah. can't believe it. I oh, know. Cracking bid though. Good day out at Cresley. Meeting the goat himself. Yeah. And uh, he's such a nice guy. Like, 
always thought he'd be such a nice guy from watching him on television, but yeah, he was just lovely. Spent a bit of time talking to everyone he met, so yeah, top bloke. He was really like, What is this talk you've been doing? <laughs> nah, we love it though, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe on the road to 1k subs and yeah we'll see you guys next time cheers <laughs>